I don't know. This is like the way society like got into my brain and made me think that I needed to have white teeth. So now I want white teeth because I think that that's what I need to have and it's beautiful. And now I can't think otherwise because that's how I was raised. And it's just this whole society thing that really just messed me up. Um, with like marshmallows and cereals with cocoa and cereals with like um, Adderall and cereals with like um, oxycodone and Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joey and in today's video I am going to be letting you know what you cannot find in the Netherlands now because I am American, these are American things that sadly I miss and I cannot find in the Netherlands or in Amsterdam. Actually, maybe you can find them in Amsterdam at like specialty stores, but I've never found them. And if you know of these things, comment below where I can find them, of course. But before we do get started, I'm gonna ask you if you can subscribe. Habanero, habanero, subscribe on the button below, the little red one, it's somewhere, you know, it's somewhere. But you're asking yourself, why is he asking me to subscribe every time? Because I am trying to get to my goal of 10K by the end of the summer. I am almost at 7K, so I think we can make this happen. I think we can make this happen. So that would be amazing. Um, why? Because I started uh, my YouTube at the end of the summer and it would be so amazing if in my one year YouTube Versary that I could have 10k subscribers. I think for me that would be pretty amazing But without further ado here are things that you cannot find in the Netherlands the first one and This might not be for everybody, but it's definitely for me is crest white strips there are these amazing white strips that Nick actually brought me from the States when he was there. But they are amazing white strips that you put on. They're like paper thin. You like put them on for like, I think like 30 minutes or something. The box tells you how long and then your teeth get so shiny and so white. The thing with these Crest white strips though is that there is a lot of, um, how do you say it? A lot of like opinions about it. A lot of people like them, a lot of people don't. They make your teeth hurt, and whenever I do them, I can't drink cold stuff for like a day because it really hurts, and I don't think that that's a good sign. But as a true American that I am, <laughs> I really don't care, as long as I get white teeth. Now I know you Dutch people are probably like, he's crazy! Why would he do this to himself? I don't know, this is like, the way society like got into my brain and made me think that I needed to have white teeth so now I want white teeth because I think that that's what I need to have and it's beautiful and now I can't think otherwise because that's how I was raised and it's just this whole society thing that really just messed me up. But I love white teeth. So crazy. So, Crest White Strips. You cannot find them here and I think that that's a good thing. I'm just gonna leave that out there. I'm gonna let you be the judge of that. The next one is my delicious hot pockets. Oh my gosh, you guys. If there is one thing that I miss about my childhood, there's not many. <laughs> but if there's one thing that I miss about my childhood is hot pockets. What are hot pockets, Joey? It's like basically a pizza canzone, but like packaged with a lot of like anti- how do you say things so that the food doesn't rot? Good, good yeah. It's like this amazing pizza called Zone with a lot of conservatives. Uh, not conservatives. Mm -hmm. Conservatives? Yeah. Schatmar, you're Dutch. How do you know this is, that's the word? Yeah, conservatives. Preservatives. Preservatives. It's like this amazing pizza calzone with a lot of preservatives and like a lot of salt so that it doesn't go bad because it can last for like a hundred years. And all you do is you take it out of the freezer and you put it in the microwave and you like poke all like two slits in it or something and then you have it. A pizza pocket. Hot pocket. It's so delicious. Although if I remember correctly, I could never get the whole thing hot. Um, there would always be a little piece that was cold, but that's the magic of Hot Pockets and preservatives. They're just delicious. 
And I think that's another thing that I'm glad we do not have here in the Netherlands. The next thing that we do not have that I actually, not being sarcastic, I really do miss is free refills. It is so hard to go to a restaurant and then you like order a cola zero, right? Sometimes I'm feeling a little frisky. So instead of ordering my normal sparrows, I order a cola zero because I'm a bit naughty. Then you get a shot of cola zero, like a little baby bottle. Like that is, looks big. I cannot find one to show you, but it looks big. But the fun part is that it's so thick inside that it's literally like an ounce of liquid. And then you like pour it into your cup. It doesn't even make the top of the cup and then it's done. And then you're like, and then it's, it's done. And you're like, wow, that was three euros. <laughs> Amazing the best three euros I've ever spent and then you're like, um, I'm actually dying Can I get another one and another one and another one and then your bill is like an extra three six nine twelve an extra twelve euros Because you were thirsty, you know, so in America We just have free refills baby doll you get a cup and we have different sizes of cups Why I don't know because the bigger the cup the lazier you are because that means the less times you have to go and fill it up yourself and it's a little more expensive, so it's a little more expensive to be lazy. It's a little cheaper to be not so lazy, but if you drink quick, then you have to go refill it yourself, but it's free, free refills for like $2, like a euro 50. Hello? The Netherlands, are you listening? Can we get this, please? Although that probably contributes to the obesity in America, so I don't know if we actually want that, but I'll let you think about that. Free refills, you cannot find them here in the Netherlands. The next thing that you cannot find here are cereals of a bazillion brands. You have like, how many cereals, Nick? We? No, we. Oh, the whole aisle. We have like a whole aisle of like 70 cereals. They're fake. Um, with like marshmallows and cereals with cocoa and cereals with like, um, Adderall and cereals with like, um, Oxycodone and just kidding not out of oxycodone, but like cereals with all of these crazy flavors all of these amazing things Reese's peanut butter cup like chocolate bars. It's like they made a Snickers But then they made it into a cereal for children for breakfast or like Fruit Loops or um, we anyways we have a zillion bazillion cereals which we do not have here We have like a healthy how many amount of cereals you think like 12? Yeah, a little more, but... Like maybe 15, 20 cereals. But in America, you have all the sugars, all the cereals, and it's kind of crazy. I'm gonna put a picture of the cereal aisle of the, of the States, so you can be blown away with how much cereal there is. If you're ever in the States, go check out the cereal aisle, and like, take one for fun, and uh, take it as dessert, not as breakfast. Trust me on that. 30 grams of sugar, coming up. The next one is mac and cheese. Crafts mac and cheese out of a box. It's amazing. Let me just let you know what it is. It's like a box and it's got noodles or macaroni, tiny little noodles, and then a package of like gold crack. It's incredible. You put the pasta, you let it boil, and then you get the powder, which is cheese. It's so good, cheddar cheese in powder form. Ah, amazing. And then you put like butter and a little milk and it's like this amazing thing. If you've ever had mac and cheese, comment below right now and let everybody know how delicious and how amazing it is because I really, really miss that. Now, it's not something that you want to eat more than once a year because it's a little bit cray cray, but it's something you definitely want to try because it's so delicious. And this is a staple in the American kitchen. Anywhere you go, craft macaroni and cheese. Craft macaroni and cheese. This is like the staple of children cuisine. If your child, if you're a child in America, chances are you're eating crafts macaroni and cheese about once a week. And you know, it's delicious. Is it healthy for you? No, it's not, but neither is smoking. <laughs> so there you go. I think the last thing that I want to touch on, there's many more and I'll make other videos about this, but Nick and I, well, Nick thinks it's insane. Drive through ATMs. What is an ATM? Um, 
a bin automat, but drive through. I have never in my life when I was in America stepped out of my vehicle to get cash. You take your car and you drive through the machine, you open your window, you put your card, you put your little pin, and then you take your money. A drive through ATM. Now, please comment below and let me know how easy life would be if you could just drive through in a bin automat. Yes, it's lazy. Yes, it's crazy. Yes, it pushes people not to walk. But how amazing is it in a country like the Netherlands where you're already nice and active, you can use one lazy thing. So why not it be a bin automat that you can drive through? So those are the things that you cannot find here in the Netherlands. And maybe you can find them. I just don't know about them. If you know that you can find them here, you better comment below and let us all know where we can get these things. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!